The Other Side, Symbolism Mini Lesson. As a refresher, I just wanna go over what a symbol is. Remember, a symbol is a person, place, or object that has an underlying meaning. A symbol shows or represents hidden ideas. And a symbol is something concrete that represents something abstract. So good readers analyze story elements and think about how objects in a story can be symbols. So if we think about the story, the other side, we know that the setting is really important to understand the symbols because the story takes place during the civil rights movement. And it's when there was still segregation between blacks and whites. And that really comes into play with the symbol. The perspective, the story is told from the point of view. It's important that it's from the black girl's point of view, Clover, because it shows us how times things were at that time for African Americans. The fence, the fence sim symbolizes two different things. It's, it symbolizes segregation because it's literally a fence separating the two races. And it also symbolizes friendship. And I'll talk about both of those things later. What does Mama really mean when she tells Clover that it isn't safe to climb over the fence? Mama tells Clover this because at this time in history, there was a lot of hatred between the two races and um, people weren't always treated fairly based on the color of their skin. So Mama was really trying to protect Clover. Um, Clover gets the courage to speak to Annie after all of the rain ends in the summer and she sees how much fun that Annie is having, so she decides to talk to her and start a friendship. How did sitting on the fence impact Annie's relationship with her friends? Annie's friends at first weren't very interested in hanging out with Clover and her friends, but after some time, um, everyone got along. Why is sitting on the fence considered an act of resistance? Because at this time, um, it was really discouraged for people of different skin colors to hang out and spend time together, um, which was a really terrible thing at that time. So the fact that these young girls were ignoring that and just spending time based on the kind of person they wanted to hang out with, not having to do with their color of their skin was really important. So it was really showing that they wanted to stand up against that. At the end, all the girls sit together on the fence. What message does this create? This creates a message of unity and power and showing that segregation is terrible and it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Um, it just matters if you're a good person or not. So we wanna remember that one story can have multiple symbols. And we also wanna remember that there are three really important questions you can ask yourself to recognize and understand a symbol in literature. Number one, what object appears repeatedly? And that's the fence. How do the characters react to this object? In this story, the fence is an obstacle for their friendship because it represents segregation. And eventually they overcome that and are able to have a great friendship. Number three, what big ideas does the story address and how does the object relate to them? It separates the two friends, Clover and Annie, um, because of their races. So I picked, there are actually, I think, two symbols in the other side, the fence and the rain. We're going to talk about both, and then I'm going to show you an example of the activity that you're going to be doing um, about the fence, about a uh, symbol in the story. So the fence can symbolize a few things. It can symbolize racial segregation because the fence physically divides and separates the white and the black people in town. It can also symbolize friendship because the girls sitting on the fence together reveals an important underlying message of hope for the future and that together with friendship, you can overcome challenges. The rain can also symbolize sadness and loneliness. Loneliness because it rains all summer in the story and during this time, Clover feels sad that she cannot go out and play. When the rain stops, Clover finally feels free and makes the decision to talk to Annie. So in conclusion, there are multiple symbols in the other side, but the moral of the story is that friendship can help you overcome anything. In the case of this story, friendship helps the girls overcome social injustice.